It sees this distortion in the fabric of space and time, and it curves in response to there, it. There could Einstein be, predicted this. There could, we designed this telescope to see the very first galaxies that turned on in the universe, and when we saw what it did, whatever's out there, we're going to see it. NASA is looking into distant planets, but when will they reveal the universe's exoplanet's true nature? No telescope has ever discovered carbon dioxide in the atmosphere of an exoplanet. However, a groundbreaking discovery by the James Webb Space Telescope that will usher in a new era of research is the detection of carbon dioxide in an exoplanet's atmosphere. Is its fleeting resemblance to the solar system concealing alien planets with inhospitable conditions? Can there be life on planets other than our own? Or do we inhabit the only universe? Let's find out. The TRAPPIST-1 star, which is only 39 light years away from Earth and a close neighbor in the cosmos, is not like the Sun. The star has a mass of about a tenth of that of the Sun and is roughly the same width as Jupiter. But what really excites exoplanet hunters is what circles it. The Transiting Planets and Planetesimal Small Telescope TRAPPIST, a Belgian telescope at La Silla Observatory in Chile, made three planet discoveries in 2016. The now-retired Spitzer Space Telescope from NASA more than validated the discovery in 2017. The TRAPPIST-1 system was discovered by the Spitzer Space Telescope and JWST is the follow-up. And during that time, astronomers have been gathering as much information as they can about the seven TRAPPIST-1 worlds. According to a 2018 study, its planets are rocky and some of them may be wetter than Earth. They were most likely rocky, though less dense than the planets in our solar system, according to the research published in 2021. The solar system and the TRAPPIST-1 system are most likely very different. All of the planets orbit their star closer than Mercury does the Sun, despite the fact that four of the seven planets are in the habitable zone of their star close enough to be warm enough to support liquid water. It may not have much of an impact on temperatures given how much fainter the star is than our Sun, but it has a significant impact on the planet's environment. For instance, TRAPPIST-1b, the nearest planet, completes an orbit around its star every 1.9 days. That year was incredibly brief. A year on the furthest planet, TRAPPIST-1h, lasts around 19 days. Additionally, all of the planets are probably tidally locked, similar to how the Moon is to Earth, so only one side is ever illuminated by the Sun. Despite these variations, TRAPPIST-1's diversity of rocky planets makes it the top exoplanet target for the JWST. Furthermore, despite being one of the most researched planetary systems, researchers believe TRAPPIST-1 still holds many mysteries. Can JWST learn what these seven rocky exoplanets' atmospheres contain? Because of the near-spec sensor aboard Webb, it's the only telescope that can recognize signals of molecules like methane, carbon dioxide and oxygen, potential indicators of surface life and hints about the composition of a planet's atmosphere. According to NASA, the James Webb Space Telescope has discovered definitive proof of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere of a planet outside of our solar system. Future research on smaller planets could benefit from these groundbreaking findings which could offer valuable insights into the composition and genesis of the planet. The discovery was made as part of the first exoplanet campaign of the James Webb Space Telescope. Exoplanets are planets that orbit other stars. The observations focused on WASP-39b, a hot gas giant, which is 700 light-years from Earth in the constellation Virgo. With an orbital period of roughly four Earth days, WASP-39b orbits its parent star, WASP-39, very closely, less than one-twentieth the distance between Earth and the Sun. The planet was found in 2011 and can only be seen during transits which are small dips in the star's brightness that it makes around WASP-39. 
The planet had been previously seen by the Hubble Space Telescope in optical wavelengths, and the now-retired Spitzer Space Telescope, which, like Webb, observed heat-carrying infrared wavelengths. The planet is about as massive as Saturn, but larger than Jupiter in size. Water vapor, sodium and potassium were detected in the planet's atmosphere in earlier investigations, but it wasn't until Webb that carbon dioxide signal was detected. There has never been any evidence of carbon dioxide on an exoplanet. But according to experts, the molecule may be able to contribute to their understanding of the planet's evolution and formation history. A significant step in characterizing the atmospheres of exoplanets has been made with this clear detection of carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide, which is particularly sensitive to the conditions in the disk where the planet formed, enables us to measure total carbon and oxygen inventory of the atmosphere. These observations can help establish the planet's formation distance and how much solid and gaseous material it gathered throughout its migration to its present location. Using Webb's near-spec instrument, a very sensitive spectrograph that divides incoming lights into barcode-like spectra that show how the examined objects absorb light, the discovery was made. Researchers compare measurements of the star's normal light to light seen through the exoplanet's atmosphere when it passed in front of it instead of using Webb or any other existing telescope to take direct photographs of the exoplanet or its atmosphere. According to the experts, the telescope will be able to spot carbon dioxide in the atmospheres of many planets, including rocky ones like Earth, that are dispersed around the galaxy. On the other hand, as the James Webb Space Telescope focuses on exoplanetary atmospheres rich in vaporized rock and crystals like corundrum and perovskite, which create gems on Earth, astronomers will be hoping for gloomy skies. Gas giants known as hot Jupiters, which orbit their stars very closely, become so hot that rocky elements, minerals and metals can exist in their atmospheres as a vapor after being burnt by temperatures as high as 3,600 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 2,000 degrees Celsius. Many of these minerals are precious gems on Earth. On Earth, a geologist would analyze them as rocks, but on exoplanets, they can form clouds. That's quite bizarre. These minerals have previously been found in the atmospheres of exoplanets. Titanium oxide was found to have a distinctive signature in the atmosphere of a hot Jupiter dubbed WASP-19b in 2017. According to astronomers using the Very Large Telescope VLT at the European Southern Observatory in Chile, Three years later, the VLT discovered iron vapor on the hot Jupiter WASP-76b's day side. The fact that many hot Jupiters are tidally locked or always present the same face to their star causes their day sides to heat up tremendously. The day side temperature on WASP-76b reaches a sweltering 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 2,200 degrees Celsius. Only 2,700 degrees Fahrenheit or 1,500 degrees Celsius on the planet's night side. Yet that's still low enough for iron to condense and precipitate out as a rain of molten metal. These substances and minerals have previously been found in exoplanetary atmospheres in a diffuse form. Now, by directly distinguishing these minerals as clouds and spectroscopically analyzing their makeup, JWST's high-resolution vision will be able to. The exoplanet WASP-96b's atmosphere features water clouds, which were previously considered to be absent, according to JWST observations of extraterrestrial atmospheres. JWST is also studying a wide range of different exoplanet atmospheres during its first year of observations. The JWST will also study the atmospheres of more compact, rocky exoplanets. The super-Earth 55 Cancri E, which has eight times the mass of our planet, will have its atmosphere's composition measured by researchers. They hope to find out whether the super-Earth is hot enough to produce lava rain. And JWST will examine the seven planets in the TRAPPIST-1 system, checking each one for an atmosphere as it scans the system. TRAPPIST-1e, the neighborhood planet with the closest resemblance to Earth, 
will be the focus of special studies from astronomers. If it is livable, then its atmosphere, especially its clouds, might provide proof of such. On Earth, clouds play a crucial role in controlling temperature. They have a significant role in determining Earth's climate. It makes sense that clouds might also have a key role in the composition of an exoplanet's atmosphere. The more we learn about how clouds generally form, as they have on Earth and other planets in the solar system, the more we learn about how clouds have evolved in more unusual environments. Meanwhile, the James Webb Space Telescope started its year by confirming an exoplanet after a breathtaking initial batch of photographs last year, including those of the birthplaces and deathbeds of stars and the cosmic waltz of galaxies. The exoplanet, officially known as LHS 475b, is nearly the same size as Earth, measuring 99% of our planet's diameter. Planets outside of our solar system are called exoplanets. Some of these planets are free-floating and orbit the galaxy's center, while most of them orbit other stars. The first actual exoplanets or extrasolar planets were discovered in the 1990s despite the idea of these planets having existed in theory and science fiction for centuries. A pulsar, which is the dense remnant of a dead star that emits pulsating beams of light while rapidly rotating, was discovered by two astronomers in 1992. The pulsar was located about 2,000 light-years away. Then, in 1995, two scientists discovered the first exoplanet circling the star 51 Pegasi which is similar to the Sun. This exoplanet was a hot, gas-rich giant that orbited its home star, a type of exoplanet known as a hot Jupiter. The orbit of this exoplanet was closer to its star than that of Mercury and the Sun. Astronomers estimate that there are an average of one exoplanet for each star that can be seen in the night sky, and more than 5,000 exoplanets have been discovered to date, according to NASA. Proxima Centauri b, the closest exoplanet, orbits a red dwarf star some 4.25 light-years away, one light-year of course being equal to 9.46 trillion kilometers. Exoplanets have so far been found by both ground and space telescopes using various techniques, and they range in size, mass, composition, number of planets in a planetary system, or the number of stars the planet orbits. These exoplanets range in composition from being rocky, like the Earth or Venus, and gas-rich, like Jupiter or Saturn, to even having a density similar to that of styrofoam or being covered in molten oceans of lava. Exoplanets frequently share components with planets in our solar system, albeit in different proportions. For instance, some may have more carbon or water, Exoplanet features not only provide information on their formation, evolution, and potential presence of life elsewhere in the universe, but also aid in our understanding of our solar system. For instance, certain exoplanets could not have formed as near to their parent stars as they are currently based on their compositions, indicating that they must have closed in later, demonstrating that planets can travel from their sites of formation. What do we know about the brand new exoplanet that JWST has confirmed? A rocky planet in the Octans constellation, LHS 475b, is located relatively nearby at a distance of about 41 light years. The existence of a new exoplanet was suggested by data from a NASA study of space conducted earlier called the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, TESS. Although JWST evidence indicates that this is a terrestrial planet the size of Earth, it is not yet known if it has an atmosphere. However, because of the telescope's sensitivity, the scientists are aware of the types of atmospheres that may be ruled out. They also suggested that an atmosphere made entirely of carbon dioxide might exist. The new exoplanet is a few hundred degrees warmer than Earth, according to the JWST. The scientists think that if clouds are found in this summer's studies, it may be a sign that the planet is more like Venus, which has a carbon dioxide atmosphere and is encircled by thick clouds all the time.
scientists have just begun to scrape the surface of what extraterrestrial atmospheres might look like with this discovery by the Webb Telescope. The potent Webb Telescope will be used by planetary scientists to study the atmosphere of smaller, rocky, Earth-sized planets. Who can say what they'll discover? Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.